got some great guests in studio with me today. We're talking with uh, Jane Mahoney from the Shelton High School. She's the uh, DECA instructor. Also, Tiana Dunbar is here to talk about her senior project. And uh, good morning to you both. Good morning. morning. Thanks for coming on the air with me. Thanks for having us. Nice to see you in here. Uh, Jane, let's start with you and and just kind of give us a primer, an overview of uh, what DECA does and its involvement in the school district and the high school. Okay, so DECA is a club for business and marketing students. Uh, We focus on leadership, professionalism, uh, work with the kids on networking. Uh, We get involved with community events and community service. Uh, If the kids want to compete and travel, that's a plus. Mm -hmm. Uh, We have some great trips every spring. This year they are trying to make their way to Anaheim. And, and then scholarships, last of all. I mean, kids can do well in DECA and get really involved and apply for scholarships. There's a lot of money to be found. So what, what, what's going on in Anaheim that would uh, get the DECA kids down there? Besides that, Disneyland, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, that's well, probably a big draw. That's the national, that's our national conference. So okay. there's a good 15,000 kids. And that's one of the big reasons the kids do these projects in the first place. I've got an entire marketing class working on projects. Um, Everybody's doing something different. Some have a partner, some are on their own. Um, Tiana here is doing an amazing financial literacy project with her uh, cohort, Jasmine Holmgren. And Jasmine's sick today, unfortunately, so so Tiana's on her own. But uh, they are working their tails off and getting involved with some great community organizations and I know that she's excited to talk about yeah, it Yeah, let's talk about this. Financial literacy, a big-time issue now. It's going to start being taught in the schools in the next couple of years. Uh, what have you learned about it, and what are you doing with your senior project? Okay, so um, with my project, I've learned um, something really important from Suzanne Clegg, who works at WSECU. Uh-huh. And um, she has taught me that uh, grades translate to money. So the harder you work in school, like the more it'll pay off in your future. And the more that you know about financial literacy and the financial tools that we have now available to us, um, the better we'll be off in the future and just um, not be in the hole when we graduate. Sure. And we'll know how to, you know, because when you graduate, you're going to be in a lot of debt already. How are you going to navigate that? And so um, with our project, making people more financially aware, it'll um, set them up for success in the future. Before this process, what sort of financial literacy did you have? Well, actually, I've taken three of Ms. Mahoney's classes. Actually, this would be my third this year. So I'm pretty familiar with financial literacy, and I already have a bank account at our community credit union. And uh, my mom's really good at teaching me like about budget and everything because I have my own bills to pay. And so um, I also have a job. So I know how to like kind of navigate my money, but I didn't know that it was ex- as extent as um, what I've been learning. So it's a lot more difficult than I thought, but... I had some knowledge. Some knowledge. James, so what are the things that you teach in your classes? Well, it depends on what class. If it's just a regular marketing class, we usually do a large unit. Um, And then if it's a money talks class, which is financial literacy, the entire year is focused on money. So uh, in the marketing class, we'll just spend a couple weeks on, you know, checking accounts, uh, credit, the importance of credit, um, debt, budgeting, uh, credit scores, why they're important, uh, consumer spending. And then uh, Kristen Carey and myself both teach a a Money Talks class. Uh, Some years uh, I do it, some years I don't. This year I don't happen to have the class because we didn't have the enrollment. But um, it's everything from investing to your retirement to, I mean, every single thing that an adult would need to know. Um, and lots of focus on on credit. Is this um, a required class? It's not, but we hope that someday it will be because it's... every single kid needs to know this. I wish I would have had something like yeah. this. It yeah, it seems like it would be good skills to yeah. learn throughout yeah. the throughout the year. Yeah. Is it better you think to learn um, earlier on, maybe the ninth grade, tenth grade level, or as a senior moving? Either one of you. Um, I think. I mean, it's. I think it's good to touch on it every year, and if if and I, and I do in every class. But I think junior and senior year, you're getting more towards mm-hmm. uh, the next chapter of your life. Sure. And as Tiana said, there's so many college students in debt and young adults. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the things that I do is I share my mistakes that I made when I was a young adult with credit cards. And, you know, when you pay them off seven years later, you don't know what you purchased, you know, when you were 20 years That's old. That's right, yeah. And so if I can, uh, you know, share any of that and prevent kids from making those mistakes, it's very worthwhile. Yeah, it is. Well, let's talk about some of the stuff you've already done with your project, some of the activities already, and what more you have to do. So um, to start off the year, we had Andrew Bertrand from our community credit union. Mm -hmm. He's awesome. He came in and talked about credit and everything and 
students were extremely involved in that. I was very impressed with my classmates. Um, they asked a lot of helpful questions, and I learned a lot from that. And um, another thing we did was um, blanking. <laughs> the moment. You've done conferences? And yeah, career. so at we had a career expo at the Shelton High School mm -hmm. where um, community members, business members, colleges, all sorts of people came and um, they had booths and stuff and so we also were um, privileged enough to have our own booth and so people came by and we had brochures of like financial literacy information such as like credit, budgeting, making smart money decisions and kind of like a little bit about our project and it and everything in our Facebook page and that and so we were handing those out as well as business cards and kids could um, if they kept those business cards they asked questions and then that's, that's how they earned a card. Um, they'd turn them into the student store and they got a free cookie. Oh wow. So that was a good incentive. Uh, we also did a savings jar activity where um, we posted on our Facebook page and uh, kind of asked for like clear jars with lids and so at a DECA meeting uh, students would pick up a jar and then they would paint them and so um, the purpose of those savings jars was like to kind of like I don't know get give them excited them, yeah give them give them a little motivation to uh, save in those jars and then some things we have coming up uh, we're teaming up with um, CEO Jim Morell of Peninsula Credit Union uh -huh. and we're gonna help him and Aaliyah uh, with making some new table tents and stuff for the financial reality fair that's going to be coming up at Shelton High School. Some classes are going to be doing that. So that's really cool. That's a huge part of our project. And then another thing um, we're doing to look forward to is teaming up with Suzanne Klink. And we're going to be doing a digital financial reality fair. Wow. To be... Um, to be uh, determined when that will be but we tested it out yesterday and it was super cool super fun um, but it's brand new uh, financial literacy product that's not even out on the market yet not available to anybody else it's uh, freshly made by them so it's really cool it's really fun I look forward to uh, showing sharing it with my classmates it's so. gotta be great to get that community involvement from the other credit unions around the area oh, yeah. getting involved and helping spread the word is it um, money is always a touchy subject and hard to navigate. Mm -hmm. Do you find that, that there is a lot of kind of knowledge about the house budget as you are talking with kids and they're t you're talking about budgets and things like that? Do they do they know what's going on in their households, you think? Uh, no, not, not so much. Do you think it's something and, they should know? Oh, yeah, absolutely, which okay. is one of the reasons we do it. I hope that, and, and the school district and uh, Pat Cusack, who is my boss, the CTE director, uh -huh. and our superintendent, uh, and <laughs> superintendent sorry, Dr. Apostle, um, are, are trying to, you know, place a, a big emphasis on financial literacy. And you know, really, I start out in my class with, with finding out what type of life kids want to live and how are you going to afford it. Let's mm -hmm. make a plan now on how you're going to get there. And I think it's a great big shock when they realize how much things cost. And we have a lot of kids going home either apologizing to their parents <laughs> for continuously, you know, continually asking for for items that, that they can't afford or, yeah, just just the understanding of what it's going to cost to move out if you don't prepare yourself. Sure. And of course, an emphasis on on after high school. What are you going to do? How are you going to get there? You know, college, whether it's a four year or community or trade school, you got to do something mm -hmm. in order to compete really in the do. job market. Education mm -hmm. pays. Yeah. Education pays. So, Tiana, right. this uh, is a year long senior project, or does it wrap um, up at the end of this uh, calendar it's, year? It's my DECA project, oh, so DECA, I'm going okay. to try and compete with it. So, first, I have to compete with it at state, and state's in March. March. Okay. And then, if I make it through March, which I probably will, hopefully, um, then I'll be able to go on to Anaheim, California. So, this is um, my financial literacy promotion project. Very cool. Very neat. It's good to hear this kind of information uh, being taught into the schools. Uh, uh, you know, we listen to the Dave Ramsey show here on the radio station every day. He talks a lot about these same types of similar uh, situations. And every day I hear those stories and I can relate to many of them that they talk about. And I think as, as people become more financially aware... It's uh, very beneficial to help them get out, start moving ahead in their lives. Right. Very absolutely. nice. And, and, and kids can really choose any project. It doesn't matter what your interests are. We, DECA has a project for you, so there's a lot of other things going on as well. This just happens to be one we're especially excited about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The kids are working so hard, doing a great job, and I, I hope that they 
uh, have a lot of success in the competition. Yeah, for sure. So do I. Well, keep us updated on how you do throughout the rest of the year here. Tiana Dunbar and Jane Mahoney from the high school, from DECA, talking about uh, the DECA project, financial literacy, and all that DECA has to offer. It's 722. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.